Question from Twitter, what is your plan to diversify Alberta economy and help us get out of the oil barrel price economy we're living in? Very good question. In fact, uh, there's a number of goals that the government has in place. One is to ensure that whatever extraction of bitumen that's, that's happening in the province of Alberta, that we add value to an appropriate amount, probably 65 to 70 percent of the production. That is important because as we add value to bitumen, we will also provide some syn gases to the petrochemical industry so they can also make additional value-added products and send those products to different countries in the world. The other is to ensure that we keep investing in education, uh, both K-12 and post-secondary, and attract as many researchers and scientists as we can to the province in all areas of discipline because we do have to move to a next generation economy over time. Oil and gas will be with us for the next 40 to 50 years. That's not the issue. But it doesn't matter how much money you save today, it'll never be enough to deal with the tragic situation if we don't transition our economy to a next generation economy. And that is the, the overall goal of the province. So we'll see some value added and a, an investment uh, in research and commercialization of various projects because that will be the new economy. Another question from Twitter, uh, do we know, do, sorry, do you know we are using investment returns from the Heritage Fund as general revenue? Why don't we reinvest it in the fund? Very good question. What the, uh, the question is, is that uh, from the Alberta Heritage Savings Trust Fund, uh, which is a separate fund from the Sustainability Fund. The Sustainability Fund was uh, money that we set aside, uh, cash surplus funds, to deal with the very volatile revenue stream. The Alberta Heritage Savings Trust Fund was put together by uh, Premier Peter Lougheed back in the 70s. That fund grew to about $17 billion. Uh, over the last year with the issues we had with the economy, it dropped down to about 13. It's now recovered to about $15 billion and will recover to about $17 billion. And I agree uh, with uh, whoever sent the question is that uh, we should not take the investment income out of the Alberta Heritage Savings Trust Fund. We should keep it in the fund to help grow the fund. We do protect uh, the fund uh, from uh, inflation, so we inflation-proof it on an annual basis. So we take money from the current revenue stream and we do invest it in the fund. But we're still using and continue to use the interest revenue. And part of the new fiscal policy that we'll be introducing uh, will be seeing how we can wean ourselves from using the interest of the Alberta Heritage Savings Trust Fund. And so that is a very good question. And if we want to see that fund grow, we have to keep the interest in the fund. From Jim and Red Deer. Why is your government so ideologically against raising taxes or even revising taxes to make them more fair? Two examples are abandoning the liquor tax this summer at a cost of $180 million and the continuation of the flat income tax, which is grossly unfair. Well, Jim, I don't uh, want to get into the debate uh, with respect to the uh, flat tax. The flat income tax is fair to all. In fact, we have the largest uh, amount of exemption for a family of four around $32,000, almost double the rate of uh, other provinces. So in the province of Alberta, uh, you would earn a heck of a lot less more money before you paid any provincial income tax. Secondly, those uh, earning $30,000 know, or $50,000 a year or $100,000 a year pay the flat tax, which is 10%. It, uh, it frees up a lot more money to be reinvested in the economy um, and uh, I always have said, and I, I agree with this, that 60% of our economy is consumer spending. So the more money we take out of, the, out of the taxpayer's pocket for taxes, we leave less in the economy. And I'm not going to go back to introducing new taxes or raising taxes during a recession. Historically, it has not worked in any country. I don't care if you go to Ireland, you go to the United States, look at uh, all of the, the recent information that's coming forward, uh, raising taxes at this time will be a, a very, very poor uh, fiscal economic plan. With respect to liquor, confess I made a mistake. We uh, increased taxes that penalized one sector 
uh, of, the, of the industry, and that was uh, the hospitality industry. We didn't increase taxes for forestry or any other uh, industry in Alberta, but we did for the hospitality. At a time where the industry was hurting, we saw less tourists uh, traveling to the province of Alberta, and we also uh, saw a substantial reduction in services that the hospitality industry was, was delivering because of the huge uh, impact of the economic recession. So we uh, went back and the, the um, taxes are the same as they were the year before on liquor and uh, we will continue with the flat income tax. Uh, it has attracted a lot of younger people to this province. You will find that we have a much younger population and in fact this year alone uh, our population uh, from July 08 to, to July 09 has increased over 91,000 people, 62,000 in migration to Alberta. So this is still the, the, the province where people see hope, uh, they can get a job, raise a family and retire, hopefully here in the future. So it is a good tax policy. Thanks uh, for those questions in Alberta Finances and uh, when we come back we will be answering questions about education and social services.